Toby is a tram engine. He has cow catches and side plates and doesn't look like a steam engine at all. He takes trucks from farms and villages to the main line and is cheerful to everyone he meets. He has a coach called Henrietta, who has seen better days. It's not fair at all, she grumbles, remembering that she used to be full and nine trucks would rattle behind her. Now there are only three or four, but the farms and factories send their goods mostly by lorry. Toby is always careful. The cars, buses and lorries often have accidents. Toby hasn't had an accident for years. The buses are crowded and Henrietta is empty. A lady and a stout gentleman stood on Toby's platform. He was, of course, the fat controller. But Toby didn't know this yet. Come on, Grandfather, cried the children. Do look at this engine. That's a tram engine, Stephen, said the fat controller. Is it electric? asked Bridget. Hush! hissed Toby. Shh, shh, said her brother. You've offended him. But trams are electric, aren't they? They are mostly, but this is a steam tram. May we go in it, Grandfather? Please? Stop, said the fat controller to the guard. They all scrambled into Henrietta. Hip, hip, hooray, chanted Henrietta. But Toby did not sing. Electric indeed, electric indeed, he snorted. He was very hurt. What is your name? asked the fat controller. Toby, sir. Thank you, Toby, for a very nice ride. Thank you, sir, said Toby. He felt better now. This gentleman, he thought, is a gentleman who knows how to speak to engines. The children came every day for a fortnight. Sometimes they rode with the guard, sometimes in empty trucks. On the last day of all, the driver invited them into his cab. All were sorry when they had to go away. And the fat controller and his family thanked everyone. Come again soon, replied Toby. We will, we will, call the children. And they waved till Toby was out of sight. The months passed. Toby had few trucks and fewer passengers. Our last day, Toby, said his driver one morning. The manager says we must close tomorrow. That day, everyone wanted the chance of a last ride. The passengers joked and sang, but Toby and his driver wished they wouldn't. Goodbye, Toby, said the passengers afterwards. We are sorry your line is closing down. So am I, said Toby. Nobody wants me, Toby thought, and went on happily to sleep. Next morning, the shed was flung open, and he woke with a start to see his driver waving a piece of paper. Wake up, Toby, they shouted, and listen to this. It's a letter from the stout gentleman. Toby listened and, but I mustn't tell you any more or I shall spoil the next story.